It's week seven for Ohio University football 2013. It's four and two and one and one Ohio and one and five and zero oh and two Eastern Michigan. The schedule is interesting. Last year, the Bobcats had a heartbreaking loss in week eight of the season at Miami. They bounced back with a home win over Eastern Michigan. It was a big win because it put Ohio in discussion for bowl time. And of course, the Bobcats did win in Shreveport in the Independence Bowl. So that win was huge. This year, Ohio's coming off of that heartbreaking loss to Central Michigan last week at Peden Stadium. So they're trying to bounce back and they see Eastern Michigan again. It is funny how the schedule works out. This time, it's a trip up to Ypsilanti. Let's take a look at EMU. It's been a long time for Eastern Michigan football. A long time since they've experienced a winning season. The last time they had one was 1995, now 18 seasons ago. With this year's one win included, the Eagles have won a grand total of 53 games in that span. They were close in 2011 when they went 6-6. Six and six. The one win this year was over FCS Howard in Week 1, 34-24. After that came losses at Penn State and Rutgers, at home with Ball State, at Buffalo, and last week at West Point. The Eagles fell to Army 50-25. to EMU has the seventh best offense in the MAC. It averages 349 yards per game and gives up 463 yards on average, the 11th best total defense in the league. Junior quarterback Tyler Benz has thrown for over 1,200 yards with seven touchdowns and six interceptions. He was 9 for 21 for 138 yards and threw an interception in Athens last year. Running back Bronson Hill had 111 yards against the Bobcats in 2012. This year, he's five short of 500 and has three touchdowns. He's one of five players to have over 100 receiving yards. Tyrese Russell has 28 grabs for 290 yards and a touchdown. Dustin Creel has two touchdowns and 270 yards. Defensively, they have 12 sacks, 23 tackles for loss, and three interceptions. Senior defensive back Michael Swaim leads them with 40 tackles and also has one of the interceptions. DN Pat O'Connor has a team-high three sacks and four TFLs. In last week's loss to the Black Knights, Army running back Terry Baggett rushed for 304 yards and had four touchdowns. So they have the tendency to allow big individual efforts and they're minus six in the turnover department, which isn't a good combination. It's meeting 30 in the all-time series, and Ohio is looking for their 18th all-time win against Eastern Michigan. It's on ESPN3. Our radio network coverage starts at noon with a kick at one. Rob Cornelius and I will bring Ryan Earson Stadium to you. That'll do it for our preview. For Tony Ermain, I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.